Suburban mayors have swung their support behind the Sudanese community, insisting Melbourne does not have an issue with African gangs. Despite the riot in Taylor's Hill last week, they blame the media and politicians for inciting racism against Sudanese youth. Mayors standing in solidarity with the Sudanese community, blaming the media and federal government for inflaming community tensions. Many Victorians feel unsafe simply because they're told to feel unsafe. Drop the fear-mongering and the cowardly antics that have been employed uh, in this climate. With riots in Taylor's Hill last week, in St Kilda last December, young Sudanese are grossly overrepresented in crime statistics, but they claim to be victims too of dangerous racism. Okay. Let's talk about these problems uh, uh, debating those issues uh, in, a, in, in a balanced manner so that we do not expose some of our young people and put them in harm's way. And they want more programs like this. Young members of the African community playing soccer with police and social workers. That will help to stop young people feeling disengaged and disenfranchised. I think that's the main problem. It's not uh, the, the gang crisis, as the, the Channel 7 likes to put it uh, quite often. The mayors say in their communities, the fear of domestic violence is far greater than the fear of African violence. At least one woman is killed a week. That's real fear. <laughs> the other kind of fear, I don't see that. Nick McCallum. Seven News.